I'm having a healthy cereal breakfast. Flynn just said, I'm a good finder. Because he was finding something. Huh, Flynn? Oh, lovely. Mommy, I'm red. What? I don't see anything. Look. Where? Uh, I don't see anything. Look. Uh, stay right there okay. and then look up. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye, Ray! Bye bye! Do any of you do something that you know isn't good for you, but you do it anyway because the immediate reward is more important than the consequences? Let me explain. I am pretty confident I'm lactose intolerant, or maybe I'm just lactose intolerant in the morning. I don't know, maybe I'm just only lactose intolerant on an empty stomach. But in the mornings, I eat cereal with a bunch of milk. I get so sick. My stomach hurts so bad, like cramps for hours. Like, I get so sick. And it doesn't stop me from eating cereal in the morning. Because cereal tastes delicious. So I just deal with the pain of a couple hours of a really painful stomach so that I can have a few minutes of delicious flavors. And don't say, well, you can just get lactate or almond milk or a milk that doesn't have dairy in it. No, I've tried those. They don't taste good. They are not the same as milk. Anyone who says that those taste the same as milk, they're wrong. It doesn't. Milk is the only thing that tastes like milk. And it's worth the pain. I see something. Can I look? Look at this hunker. That's a big roly poly, dude. That's a big one. That's a big one. Good job, dude. Very excited to find this weird spider yesterday. Looks like a cat spider. Looks like a cat spider? Yeah, cat spiders have cat faces. What? <laughs> Is that what it was? I thought it was like a weevil spider. It was a cat spider? It wasn't a weevil spider? It was a weevil spider, but I thought it, it was, but now it changed like a cat one. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> We're just working in here, and um, Corey saw a comment that I was like, and I thought about this when we filmed it. We posted the house tour yesterday. You know, I, I try not to address hate as much as possible because I do get so much like love on here. You guys are so great. Like, we were just talking about how wonderful the comments always are on the vlog and how it's like this wonderful little community of magical human beings who watch the vlogs and comment and stuff. But we saw a comment that was like, because oh, Corey's room is not the biggest room in the house, but it's still a like, nice room. But anyway, someone was like, oh, so Flynn has a bigger room than Corey and like I roll. Okay, there's so many elements to this that are insane. Acting as though like I've put Corey in a dungeon. First of all, I invited Corey to come stay here. He still has his place in LA and he has a place here. I was like, there's a room for you if you want it. And then when I got here before him, I filmed every room and I was like, which one do you want? Anyone you want. I showed him the huge guest house in the back. She even said I could have this big bar I was like, by you can myself. have this by yourself yeah, if you want, anything awesome. you want. And he was like, I want the small little room. Corey's mm -hmm. always been like that. He likes the small little dark corners and that's the one that he wanted it so he chose it but people are trying to make drama of it like as though I was like you get the tiny dungeon which is not tiny at all it's nice <laughs> so I just wanted to say that because sometimes we get comments that are like you know a lot of it we like just don't address it but sometimes we get comments that were just like are you serious like you guys like trying to make a mountain out of a mole oh. not even a molehill it's like a speck of a crumb um no Corey got to pick whatever room he wanted and that's the one he chose and I still have a whole nother apartment he's this whole other apartment <laughs> <laughs> anyway Corey and I are fighting is what I'm trying to say and I put him under my spell and I locked him in the dungeon and he's not allowed out in this miserable house. Um, but anyway, we're just talking about a tour and we're booking hotels and flights and all that fun stuff for a tour because we have a lot of fun dates coming up. We're actually announcing a bunch of dates very soon. I'm so excited. So there's a few more dates being added this year at the end of the year. And then next year, we're, we're gonna announce a bunch of shows for next year pretty soon too. So tell me where you guys want us to go because we are, are loving going on tour and performing and seeing all your beautiful cities and meeting you guys and it's just so fabulous um so tell me where else we should go so that i can find a place to put cory in a dungeon <laughs> oh but that was the other thing is that like what, what do you think Cor uh, if this if it were the scenario that they had suggested that like oh 
You gave Flynn the big nice room and Corey a little one. As if Corey, it, Corey, first of all, he wanted the small room because he always does. Every time, when we went to Vancouver, he was so excited because his room was tiny and a little bed. He's like, oh, it's like a closet. He was like so excited. Didn't you say you used to sleep in the closet as a kid? I think I have like a mental issue problem. I, like, I don't like a big open space. It's like even being in this room, it kind of gives me anxiety. Yeah, like, it's like too open. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't yeah. like it. But ever since I was little, I, I used to not even look up in the sky because the sky scared me because it was so big and massive yeah. and open. I don't know. It's, it's overwhelming. So weird. It's just a weird thing I've always like had. Like I don't like big open spaces. It's like the yeah. opposite of claustrophobic. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, you can work in the closet if you want. Okay. Um, maybe that's why because you were in the closet so long. I know. You felt safe. Yeah, I know. I was like, this is my norm. <laughs> oh, like as if Corey would see a room, a bedroom that's right next to my bedroom that's like made for a child. It has children's desks in it and be like, I want the bigger room and Flynn can have the smaller one across yes. the house. Uh -huh. Like as if Corey would do that. Corey wants what's best for Flynn and so, you know, obviously, like, imagine yeah. if you were said that. I would have given it to you, but, like, also, I've been like, can you have it? Anyway, I just thought that was funny. Anyway, I'm all over the place. Leave a comment, tell us where you want us to go into our next. There was something else I wanted to say, but I completely forgot what it was, so I'll probably remember later and then forget to tell you it. Currently filling a pot with really hot water, but here are the jeans. They're just normal, like, mom jeans. But if you look, see these, like, stains? They're all up and down the pants. They're just, like, these. That's milk and it stained them. I like them, but it looks like a little suspicious. And so I just, I can't really wear them and I can't get the stains out. So I'm gonna try dyeing them. See how it goes. Probably gonna be a disaster. Okay, I'm gonna pour, you're supposed to use rubber gloves, but I'm a daredevil. I'm gonna put like half of this. Here we go. I'm gonna put my pants in the pot. It's already way darker than I want it. So I'm thinking I might turn on the water and like dilute it a little bit because that's really dark. And I'd rather it be like a lavender color and like a eggplant. I could also just take it out right away. You're supposed to be like do this for a long time. Like it's supposed to sit in here for like an hour, but it already looks too dark with purple. So now I'm like, I'm just diluting the water and stirring it around. And hopefully it lightens it up a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. They're very dark purple. <laughs> I literally only had them in there for like one minute and they got so dark. You're supposed to like let it soak for, like stir it for 30 minutes and then let it sit for an hour and I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna go wash them and hope that most of the dye comes out because I just wanted like a light purple and now I just, I did too much. I'm an idiot. All right, they're in the wash. I'm gonna set a timer. While they're washing, I've got some chores to do to tidy up around the house. So I'm gonna empty the dishwasher, bolt some laundry. So you guys get to watch the boringness of my life. You're welcome. Done with my chores. Well, kind of. Now I have to put these clothes away. And then I'm going to get my purple pants out and hope that they look cute. Oh, man, you guys. Bad news. It worked. They're purple, but they're very dark purple. And in my head, I was thinking like these like acid wash kind of barely any purple. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh no, this looks terrible. <laughs> I don't know about this, y'all. Okay, so here they are. I mean, they're not terrible, they're just purple. I don't know why I was expecting them to look completely different. It's weird, because they're purple, but like the threading is obviously the brown, but it like looks gold almost. I'm like, do I love these or do I hate these? I don't really know. Maybe I love them. Do we hate them or do we love them? They're very purple. Um, I'm gonna dry them. <gasps> oh look, the back of the pants kind of faded. So there's like moments of it that are, oh, it's kind of cool, like some parts are like kind of faded-ish and I don't know, maybe they are cool. I can't tell yet. We're gonna dry them and I'll try them on and then we'll know if they're cool. Hello everyone, it's the next day and I did it again, guys. I made myself sick. I had a latte this morning with milk and obviously that meant that now I'm sick today. So I wanted to vent about something that I've noticed recently if you shop online, which I always do, as you guys know, packages. I literally don't shop in person. I don't go to stores. I literally only buy everything online. So I'm wearing this dress today, which Eric actually bought for me when we were in Vancouver. And when I got saw it, I was like, that's like a prairie dress. Like, I don't know, it's so not me. I would never wear that. I would literally never wear that. Then I wore it one day and now I like really like it. So Eric was right. I think it's cute and fun and flirty and whatever. So like, <laughs> but anyway, I was looking for another dress like this, like online. So I was like kind of shopping online and something happened to me that I've noticed has happened a lot when I shop online 
online these days, and it is this. These shopping websites are guilting us, manipulating us, gaslighting us to the, the heavens. Pop-ups will happen, and I'll be like, save 20% if you give us all your email addresses and your firstborn child. And I always just click out of those things, because like I'm not gonna go and like sign up for their like rewards programs to get 15% off or whatever. Like I just don't wanna do that. And so those things pop up. And whenever I click out of them, I'll get another pop-up that's like, so you don't like saving money? You would rather spend full price than save money? Have you guys seen this or is it just me? I've seen like the sassiest pop-ups when I'm shopping, whenever I X out of like saving options. They're like, oh, so you like spending more money? Fine, then do it. And I even saw a commercial. I saw this ad that was like, this product is not for you. Do not buy it. It is only for people who like good food. Like it was like weird. It was like trying to like manipulate you into getting the product and like, this product is not for people who hate gross food and who hate disgusting things. It's only for people who love good food and things that make you feel good about yourself. It was like <laughs> sassy. Like it just feels like so weird. Anyway, I ended up just leaving the website because it made me so mad and I didn't buy anything. But I did buy other things that I needed. So let's see what they are. This is for me. <gasps> Babies need more pajamas, so I got them more pajamas. These babies grow so fast, let me tell you what. So I already had these for them when they were smaller, and I loved them. They wore them all the time, but they grew out of them, so I got them the bigger size. Uh oh I got myself the cheap version of Birkenstocks because I never wear shoes, ever. If you know me at all, you know that I do not ever. I'm always barefoot or like socks, like I don't like wearing shoes. And at this house, there's like gravel in the backyard and stuff, so I'm always barefoot. I'm not gonna put on my shoes just to go in the backyard and play with the kids. So I had like one pair of sandals, but I wanted like another pair of like Birkenstock type sandals. But Birkenstock's like a billion dollars. So I got knockoffs, they were like 20 bucks. <laughs> they look the same to me. I'm not the type who sees knockoffs and I'm like, that's a knockoff. First of all, I can never tell. If you have a fake Prada bag that costs you $10, I will think it's real. Fake diamonds, I think they look the same as real diamonds. Like I cannot tell the difference. These literally look like Birkenstocks to me. Yeah. They don't look like not Birkenstocks. What's the difference? These look like Birkenstocks and they're like $20. Birkenstocks are like a hundred billion dollars. There's so much money. Oh my gosh, these are so comfortable. Eric's the opposite of me. Eric like has to have the name brand. Okay, I got these for the office so we can have fresh lighting cables. Let's see what's in the big box. I'm sure it's something for my babies. A trash can for my room. I got these little removable hook things because I have this idea for the office that I want to do. We'll see what happens. I want to put these lights in the office, like a TikToker in 2020, but there's no furniture in there and I don't want to add a bunch of furniture in there because we don't know how long we're going to be here. So I was like, what's a way we can elevate this room and make it like not so just bright and big and open? I'm like, what if we added like pretty lights in there around the like floor um, or something? I don't know, just give it a vibe. So I'm going to try it. And a new sleep sack for babies because they grew out of their sleep suits. So we're trying sleep sacks. Wesley's already converted to the sleep sack and he's doing pretty good in it. So Maisie's next. This stinks, I need to wash her. And I got a little throw blanket mat for the babies because I don't have a lot of like play blankies for them to lay on and play on. And this one I can put outside or inside and they can just frolic about on their little play mat and it's got cactus on it. That's what I got today in my online haul of things that I need and forgot to bring or forgot to buy or put off buying for 10,000 years. Most people go to stores to run their errands. I run my errands in the middle of the night on the internet. Okay, that's all, goodbye. I keep seeing people make pickles on TikTok and I love pickles. So I'm gonna make some, or I'm gonna try. Two cups of water, a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna boil this. Now I'm gonna cut up my cucumbers. I'm gonna add some fresh dill, some peppercorns, garlic. Oh, <laughs> universe said no. Universe said no more garlic, Colleen. I guess that's it. Now I'm gonna put it in the fridge and I could try it tomorrow, but I feel like I should wait longer than that. So we'll check back with y'all. Um, Hi everyone. So Eric and I went to Fiesta tonight. It was so fun. I love confetti eggs and I just love Fiesta. It's so fun. I got my little, Eric picked out a flower crown for me. I'm gonna show you a little montage of some little moments of today, tonight of us just celebrating Fiesta.
We always made confetti eggs growing up and they have gotten really fancy. So I'm gonna do a little Fiesta egg, confetti egg haul for you of um, just the few cute ones that we got. Confetti eggs are super fun. We used to make them all the time. Literally there's just confetti, in case any of you don't know, it's kind of self-explanatory, but there's, this is an egg and inside is confetti and you crush it on people's heads. I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. So here is a Ninja Turtle one that Eric wanted because this is your favorite Ninja Turtle, right? Michelangelo? Rafa, Raphael, yeah. Oh, I don't know all their names. What's Michelangelo? The orange one? Yeah. That's the one I crushed on your head? Yeah. Okay. And this one is Raphael. Raphael. Like a serious one. Okay. And this one is... Leonardo. Sure. He was the leader. And this is a Spider-Man egg. And Flynn, for some reason, he's never seen Spider-Man, but the other day he was like, we were at a toy store and he's like, mom, look, it's Spider-Man. That's crazy. It's, and I was like, how do you know what that is? So I got him a Spider-Man one. We got little twins. How cute, little babies, little beanies. That's so cute. This one's super fun, little Mardi Gras, purple cuteness, little masquerade ball. Hello, so cute. This one is epic, a unicorn. Get out of town with this. How cute is that? And a little skunk. I think this might be my favorite. That one's really cute. And a cute little penguin. When I was growing up, confetti eggs did not look like this. They were just literally just painted or just had confetti over them. But now they're all so fancy and so cute. So that was my confetti egg haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna shower because I'm getting confetti all over. <gasps> I was not expecting that. Which is the point of a confetti egg. I don't understand that, it was supposed to be a surprise. Yeah, you just, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a surprise, but like, yeah, you just go to people and go, smash. Thank you, that was very sweet of you. Hi, Thorn or an eggshell? The little eggshell. Oh, you're right. Sharp got me. I'm gonna shower, bye guys. <gasps> bye guys. I am going to shower bye guys i just realized I never showed you guys my purple pants. I'm wearing them right now. Ta -da. here's the purple pants. What do you think, lovey? My purple pants. I think they're great. I'm not mad about them. I'm not mad at all. I think it's fun to have colored jeans. I'm like, should I dye all my jeans fun colors? Okay, bye. I am being very brave today. I'm gonna try to make granola bars from scratch. If you guys have been watching me long enough, you know that I've been eating chewy granola bars, chocolate chip granola bars, 24 seven. It's like all I eat at night when I'm up with the babies. I probably eat a whole box of chocolate chip chewy bars like every couple of days and they're really bad for you. And so I was like, maybe it'll be a little bit better for me if I make it from scratch, so I'm gonna try. I'm yeah, you tell him, Maisie. Two and a half cup oats. And then half a cup of chopped up almonds. I don't know about this part, but I'm doing it anyway. All right, I'm gonna chop up my nuts. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I've toasted my oats and my almonds, and now I've cooked in a saucepan a third cup of honey, a fourth cup of butter, a fourth cup brown sugar, and a half teaspoon of vanilla until it was boiling and all dissolved. And I'm gonna put it in here and mix it all together. Once that cools, I put in chocolate chips, and then I put it in the pan, and then I bake it, I think. Oh, I don't bake it. Oh, I just put it in the fridge. Then I put it in the fridge for a couple hours, and then apparently these are chewy bars. Adding chocolate. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a couple hours and hope it tastes good. Okay, I changed my shirt because I was too hot. We played outside for a while. Just put the babies down for their second nap. I think it's been long enough. We can check on the granola bars. Hmm. Well, the chocolate chips look not appealing now. They're like dry and crusted and rusted, but that's okay. So I'm going to try to cut into these. And I read that after they're done chilling in the fridge, if you put them like in an airtight container after you cut them, like over time they get chewier and chewier. I don't know, okay. There she blows. Let's try it. I don't like it. <laughs> this tastes like honey. It doesn't taste like a granola bar at all. Mm -mm. Darn it, I was really hoping I would love this. Let's try the pickle and then call it a day. Okay, it's been 24 hours. Now I have to say I'm not expecting anything from this because even though everyone I've seen on TikTok, it, they have pickles within 24 hours, the recipe that I looked up said it needs to be in the fridge for a week. So I'm assuming this is just gonna taste like a cucumber that has a little bit of a zest to it and not a full on pickle. So I know that these will taste better in a week. Ugh, she was sealed tight. So cute. I'm nervous and excited. That tastes like a freaking pickle. 
<gasps> you guys, I think I put too much dill, but it's really good. I love how I'm surprised that I made pickles and they taste like pickles. Like I am dumb. I'm like, you guys are not gonna eat this. It tastes like pickles. I'm like, I, that was the point. Like I literally made pickles because I wanted to eat pickles. Anyway, there you go. That's all I'm doing today. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. It was probably a long vlog because it was over the course of a few days. Yeah, we're all adjusting nicely to this big change of events here, moving and everything. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, peace out. You can relax, Colleen and Eric have a podcast, the world is scary and we're locked in our home, but now we have big microphones, so you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.